We've covered how you can take a graphic and uh, from Illustrator, bring it into Photoshop, put it onto the perspective plane, even change the uh, shadow area so that it looks more like it's actually on the building. But what about, you know, dealing with architectural elements and or other things like mailboxes or or cars or people or uh, bushes that interfere with uh, where the graphic is going to be. Let me show you how you can deal with that. I'm going to go ahead and select just this one word from our graphic here. We'll go ahead and copy it. Now let's go to Photoshop and I'm going to paste it and put it onto this plane here. So we'll go under edit, paste, we'll use its pixels. There it is. We'll scale it a little bit. I'm going to put it right into this base here. So there, I'll put return. It's on its own layer. And I'll go ahead and select it. And then cut it. All right. Let's go back to our vanishing point. Um, we can go ahead and extend this if we wanted to, because we can do the same thing that we did before with the, uh, we have to have the uh, perspective plane tool selected, but we can go ahead and extend that. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna create my own uh, additional plane here for this, because I'm gonna use this entire wall here. Uh, did not do a good job of clicking there. Let's delete that. Let's go ahead now and go back and create the correct plane here. May have to zoom in a little bit. And this is another one of those ones where I may not be able to see that corner. I may have to do a little bit of adjustment to get that to work. It looks like I've got it pretty well. So here's our plane. Let's go ahead and bring in our graphic. So Command V and we'll bring it onto the space here. And Let's scale it using the transform tool. Scale it down. Just like that. And that looks good. Hit return. And there it is. Problem is, and maybe I still want to move it a little bit on that, but we can do that. Um, the problem is that look at where the S and this architectural element end up, right? Um, I want to actually have that part of the S appear to go behind the architectural element there. So I'm going to zoom in on that area here. And the thing we need to do is we can remain on this layer, but we're going to hide it so that we can see what we're doing down here. And I'm going to go ahead and select the stuff that I'm trying to eliminate from the uh, graphic. So I did a really quick select on that, but it's done a pretty good job. I think it'll be okay. I can probably go in and refine it some more, but it will serve our purposes because I can see that it actually will deal with that part. Now, while I'm on that layer and I've got that selection, I can simply go and hit delete. And you'll notice that now that architectural element is been cut out of that. And it looks like the S is going behind it, right? So, you know, that's how you can deal with things like mailboxes or light posts and things like that. 
and perhaps we want to go to that layer, we might reduce the opacity slightly so that perhaps some of the uh, stuff in the background starts to show up. We may deal with uh, different blending modes, right? To see if we can get that uh, different things showing up through there um, with that. So there are different ways that we can get it to look even more like it's on the building uh, there. All right. And so that's how you could take and make it look like uh, it's actually on a building by working around things like bushes, um, mailboxes, again, light posts, so on and so forth.